We are in the E block now. That means time for some entertainment news. We're, we're going to begin with uh, Alec Baldwin's controversial Twitter meltdown. The former 30 Rock star went on an apparent homophobic rant on George Stark. He's a journalist at London's Daily Mail who reported Baldwin's wife was tweeting during actor James Gandolfini's funeral, writing, the pregnant yoga instructor's social media feed was full of upbeat posts while the Soprano star's friends, family, and co-stars were gripped with grief at a New York Catholic church. Messages included a request for ideas about wedding anniversary presents and promotional notes about her upcoming appearance on The Rachel Ray Show. Baldwin denied the report in a series of angry tweets saying, my wife and I attend a funeral to pay our respects to an old friend and some toxic Brit writes this bleep trash. The expletive filled rant continued, I'm gonna find you George Stark, you toxic little queen, and I'm gonna expletive you up. But in a letter posted to GLAAD's website Friday, Baldwin apologized for the anti-gay slur, saying his tweets didn't have anything to do with, quote, issues of anyone's sexual orientation. Joining me now for more V103 radio personality, Kendra G, thank you for coming in. Not a problem. And the co-host of The Burt Show, Kristen uh, Klingshern, Thanks Thank for coming you. in. You know, to be clear, I just want to make this clear. You know, it is possible uh, that the journalist was wrong and that Alec, uh, Alec's wife wasn't on the phone because with Twitter, right. you know, you can schedule when your messages post. But what do you, what do you make of all this? Uh, you know, Glad coming out and supporting Alec Baldwin and then, uh, you know, knowing that he sort of has had this sort of anger and rage on Twitter before. Well, Alec Baldwin, he always goes off. And I actually appreciate the fact that the celebrities have their platform and their voice via Twitter. If the journalist was wrong, he needed to be corrected. Now, maybe the choice of words that Alec Baldwin utilized weren't proper, but I understand he was angry at the moment. So I think we should forgive him. What do you think, Kristen? I, I commend him for wanting to stick up for his pregnant wife. I totally understand <laughs> that. I'm sure as a husband who's about to become another fa you know, father again. But Alec Baldwin is a seasoned actor. This is not his first bout with anger and with issues. And he needs to rise above and he needs to know he's better than that. Even on Twitter, when you, where you do have a more personal voice. Exactly. You know, and this sort of brings up the whole Paula Dean thing. I mean, she, you know, she's come out and sort of apologized, what, at least three, four times at this point point and all of her uh, all of her business associates are dumping her yet glad comes out and supports Alec Baldwin uh, is there sort of a double standard going on here his career survives his, hers goes in the toilet um, you know he supports a lot of gay uh, you know he supports the gay community mm -hmm. he comes out at charity events uh, from what I understand he gives his money to, to gay charities you know and at the same time we've heard how Paula Dean has supported African-American charities but for some reason her career doesn't survive but his does honestly I think you cannot compare the two these are two different circumstances Paula Dean is being criticized right now for being a racist let's just call it what it is and you know with the word that she utilized that she admit to using is on a whole different level and I believe that Paula Dean has apologized kind of she hasn't really came out and said this is what I said I'm sorry her quote is I is what I is so I'm not comparing the two and no she's not getting a pass right now I'm sorry what do you think Kristen <laughs> did she get a pass with you no. or actually do you agree with Alec Baldwin getting a pass well I know I mean an insult is an insult you know regardless of who it's being targeted to and I think that but for Paula Dean this is about this is a, a like she's has a lawsuit against her this is a much bigger deal with Paula Dean than it is with Alec Baldwin sending one tweet to a, you know, to a journalist who he deems was incorrect with, with the story. And the insult of the N-word is on a whole different level. I think we can all agree on that. So you can't really compare the two to me. I all think right, the gay community would have a different stance. Oh, though. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> All right, let's, let's move on. Let's, speak, let's talk about gay marriage. In the spotlight, uh, the New Yorker's new cover already drawing mixed reactions and reporting on the Supreme Court's same-sex marriage rulings. The magazine's featuring everyone's favorite Sesame Street stars, Ernie and Bert. The two are snuggling on the couch together watching the justices on TV. I don't know, do you think this is a cute image, but are, are, are our children's fiction characters the right way to commemorate a major Supreme Court ruling. What do They're you think? Muppets. They're not humans. <laughs> I think just let them be. This is for the kids. We're always trying to complicate things too much. And I love Burn Ernie, and they don't have any sexual orientation. They're Muppets. They're not humans. That's how I feel about it. Everybody should have been celebrating yeah. the rulings. I mean, humans, heterosexuals, homosexuals, Muppets, everybody should have been happy well, with what happened. What's interesting is that Sesame Street ha has long denied that Burt and Ernie uh, were in a relationship. In fact, saying back in 2011 in a statement that the two were only best 
friends. Exactly. Just yes. Put that out there. Let's move on to real, <laughs> quick, real quickly to a Beyonce. The, the Mrs. Carter World Tour just uh, came to America. What do you make of uh, of the new mom? I love everything about Beyonce. I'm so happy she's on American soil right now, and I love the fact that this tour is called the Mrs. Carter World Tour because she's letting everybody know she's married to Jay Z. I wish I could be Mrs. Carter. <laughs> I wake up every day dreaming that I could be Beyonce, but unfortunately, <laughs> she's living the life. All I can do is watch it. But I love Beyonce. She's a bad mama jamma in every single way. <laughs> It's woman power to the nth yes. degree. I hate when people think you either have to be independent or you have to be fully involved in your marriage. There is the best of both worlds. She is an independent woman doing her thing, and she is celebrating her marriage. Have to commend her for doing both. All right, Kristen Klingshern, uh, Kendra G., thanks so much. Thank you this for having fun. us. Thank you.